Hello and welcome to the Digital Architecture YouTube channel. My name is Salam Today we are taking a new lesson in the series of the Arshik Hadka Super Life Connection. Today we will take a look on how we can control objects in Arshik using Grasshopper. I will take an example on how we can make some random trees based on points. We don't have too much or little. I feel like every tree is like random in size and even in shape. So to get started we will make a new file. So now I have a new file in Archicad and what I have to do So now I have a new file in Archicad and Grasshopper I have to do to start the connection with the new documents unnamed, it's okay And now I have to add my object So if we went to object we'll see we have in garden the oh, trees object and we'll take this tree as example When you place it here in Grasshop and Archicad, you can actually also use that in the Archicad Live Connection by adding the object tools and we know that from the last lessons where we made the slope and we added some trees in different heights. But now we'll take more depth on how we can control the objects in Archicad and Grasshopper. So to add the object we need point. We'll take down one point as example. Set one point. We'll just set this one. Okay. Now in random or default, we'll take the last object that we selected in Garshikat. And from here, if we went to sitting, I can take the object sitting, which will be right here. And here, if I right click, use we can have the method to create a new object from Archic from Grasshopper or Rhino directly or we can use a library part from Archicad. If I select use library part then I can select the Archicad library part and from here like select the trees but we will see that all the parameters are locked we can't add them so how we can unlock this we can select our trees and we can go and open this object which will be in library open object Control shift o if i click this i'll get inside the object you don't need now to have so much uh, ideas or or uh, experience in objects in archicad all we have to do is like go to parameters and add a new parameter which would be named as parameter param control by grasshopper we need to have it exactly this way written big b big b on g we can make this like grasshopper I need to make it true false boolean which will be on and now I control shift s to save this one in my embedded library and from here if I click save I will have my own library part in Archicad so I can actually delete this this is coming from uh, from uh, grasshopper so from here I can select the Archicad library if I go up to embedded library I'll find my library here you see the difference I can actually import some parameters so now the normal way I will see no difference but if I click right click and I start adding the XY unfortunately are not working you'll see that some problem with them in trees total height type trunk height trunk diameter so we see we have all those parameters now under here to control and to take an example if I take the total height and add a slider like 5 meter now I can control the total height of this tree in crossover so now you have the idea if I can control all those parameters in grasshopper I can actually take example to distribute a random trees in an area so I have this polyline I will make random points on this region and control the number like 20 now if I add this point what if at this point instead of one point we had like 20 points now i have multiple trees which will all look similar 
some rotation or shaker will give me some random rotation but all of that I can't control any other parameter so now we can start by controlling the rotation first thing we can do is to oops I have too much trees <laughs> leave it like low now so first thing we can control the rotation we've seen that in the last lesson we can make random we need a random number between a domain start and end and here we need it between like 0 degree and 90 and the number of uh, random numbers we need is the exact number of uh, the elements so 19 will be so now you have 19 rotation with 19 point now I have man random rotation I can control how much they will be different from each other in rotation wise next thing if we see like we have the height but the x and y or the width and length are by trees are not that don't work uh, right the connection between our and grasshopper I want to believe that because it's like have too much parameters for the width of this tree we have like the half width or the diameter and maybe all um, depends on the other parameters that we see here from trees like we can control the thickness inside and the whole total height of the leaves so we can like ignore this x and y we can control now the height we can we copy this random generator and we make our height like between let's see take this close to a height between 2 to 10 and I make like between 3 meters to like 5 or 6 or even 7 to connect this here we'll see now I start to get multiple height I can make it as I want some big trees some large trees and if I collect this again here I have the three types now I by type I have two types we saw that in the options we have number one and number two the tree number one is the one that we see here number two is the other tree that's different in this shape if I go to setting I can see this type one and type two so here I can make a random generator but not with two num with those number I can just click it inside and make from one to two and now generate number between one and two but I don't need the commas so I right click and make integer number I have either one or two I plug it here in I'll have some non random trees between the tree number one and tree number two it's like perfect now the other thing I have the trunk height so I take this now if I plug it like how it is it will be like some weird trees I need to co to control this a little bit more make it like down with the radius and make the highest value is like 5 to 0 and 5 something like this maybe it will work better and I can still control and get the values between those two points or two values mm -hmm. see how I can make this different between the two types of trees it's like perfect and now we have the thickness of the diameter or trunk diameter so here also maybe we need like zero zero five and zero two or zero one like this and here it will be the thickness as if I know more thicker we can get some random values this way so in this way we see how we can generate random uh, trees as we wish we can like make this a little bit more neat and con have our controller ready to to be done with us and when I increase the number of trees it will be always random which is perfect for landscaping if we want to 
distribute some trees along the way or if I have some grasshopper script that have some trees in different locations I can directly control them and have them some random shapes for tree which like the nature shapes of trees so this was the introduction of controlling the objects in ArchiCAD grasshopper connection we will see in some other lesson how we can actually make some uh, simple objects that are totally controlled in grasshopper which would be very uh, useful to have some numbers to have some shapes some materials which will be drawn directly using some information in the setting instead of uh, making our own geometry in Rhino which will be a little bit too big to 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 transform a geometry from Rhino grasshopper to Archicad. I hope you like this lesson and we'll see you next lesson. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe and spread this video with your friends. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.